Heligyro is a new type of aircraft, patented all over the world. A hybrid between a helicopter, an autogyro and a fixed-wing aeroplane. Due to its unique design, the Heligyro can take off and land vertically, just like a conventional helicopter. However, it can also reach flight speeds that were the exclusive domain of fixed-wing aircraft. At takeoff time, the pilot presses the Start button on its control console. The Heligyro starts both engines, sets the propeller's pitch to zero, and accelerates until they reach a prop speed of 2,600 revolutions per minute. Then it slowly engages the rotor clutch and speeds up to its normal 400 revolutions per minute design speed, with the collective pitch set to zero, so that no lift is generated. Finally, both wings and the horizontal stabilizer are turned to a near vertical position. Once the start sequence is completed, the aircraft is in helicopter mode and the system informs that it's ready for takeoff. The pilot then increases the linear power lever and the five seat aircraft rises vertically. The pilot has full control over the three angular motions pitch, roll, and yaw with soft rotations of its joystick. The heligyro can remain in hover flight for as long as the pilot desires. Power applied to the rotor creates a pair of forces which would cause an opposite rotation to the aircraft. On conventional helicopters, this is compensated by a tail rotor providing an opposite momentum. On the heligyro, one of the two propellers is set with negative pitch and generates the differential pull needed to compensate the rotor-induced torque. All these maneuvers are executed automatically by the fly-by-wire system in response to the start button. The pilot's mission is to observe and supervise the correct execution of the sequence. Once selected a starting bearing, the pilot increases the power setting and the heligyro starts climbing and increasing its forward speed up to about 30 miles per hour. If the pilot increases the power even further, the heligyro will change its configuration to autogyro mode. In order to do so, both wings and tail surfaces recover a near horizontal angle. The propellers increase their pitch and, consequently, their thrust and the rotor declutch from the engines and keeps auto-rotating powered by the wind entering from its lower side. Once it has reached a speed of about 40 knots or an altitude of 300 feet, the system automatically retracts the landing gear. This maneuver, like others, is transparent to the pilot, who is informed via the screen and a voice announcer. In autogyro mode, lift is provided by both the rotor and the fixed wings. The wing's lift increases with the forward speed of the aircraft. At about 100 miles per hour, the wings provide all the required lift. Now the rotor is unnecessary, and its increasing aerodynamic drag becomes the major speed limiting factor in all existing rotary wing aircrafts. In the heligyro, if additional speed is required, the system starts a new configuration change and moves to fixed wing mode. First, the rotor cyclic and collective pitch are set to zero, and the rotor is slowly braked in a position transversal to the flight's direction. Note that in this state, one blade experiments reverse flow with a relative wind entering through its trailing edge. This blade must be reversed, but turning it in this position would create severe aerodynamic buffeting and instabilities. To avoid this, both blades are rotated around their lead lag axis and aligned with the aircraft tail. Once in this position, the blade can be reversed with little effect on the aircraft's aerodynamic profile. Then, both blades are redeployed to a position near parallel to the fixed wings. The heligyro has become a biplane fixed wing aircraft. The system sets the wings pitches to the best lift to drag ratio for each flight speed. In fixed wing mode, the heligyro may reach speeds up to 330 knots at altitudes of 20 to 40,000 feet. This is nearly twice the maximum speed of all other existing helicopters and well over the speed of the faster converter plane, the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. Just as for all previous transitions, this one is executed under the fly-by-wire control. In other words, the pilot is relieved from commanding each complex step of the transition 
and his role is to supervise its automatic execution as it happens. The fly-by-wire also controls other subsystems such as the cabin pressure and temperature conditioning, the GPS, the autopilot, the communications subsystem and all other avionics. When nearing the destination point, the pilot introduces into the system all relevant data received from the air traffic control. Then it starts decreasing engine power and initiates a gliding descent into the target. When the speed is below 100 miles per hour, the system starts the transition from fixed wing back to the auto gyro mode. This sequence is the exact reciprocal of the previous one and at its end the rotor starts spinning with a short impulse from the engine and then driven by the relative wind only. On reaching the preset altitude and airspeed, the landing gear is deployed. When the final destination is in sight, the heli-gyro transitions again from auto-gyro to helicopter mode, providing better control for the final approach and landing. Finally, the heli-gyro lands vertically at the destination heliport. The flight is over.